Hi, I am Sonu and I am Sarvesh and in this video we are going to explain the working of an infrared remote control. The problem of wirelessly controlling things has baffled mankind for a long time. First step towards solving that problem was the Branley's coherer. When a radio frequency signal is applied to the device, the metal particles would cling together or cohere, reducing the initial high resistance of the device, thereby, thereby allowing current to flow through it. And to switch it off, users had to tap it so that the metal particles would again separate. 1903, Leonardo Torres Cuedo presented the Telecano at the Paris Academy of Science. The Telecano consisted of a robot that executed commands transmitted by electromagnetic waves. With the Telecano, Torres Cuedo laid down modern wireless remote control operation principles. The first remote intended to control a television was developed by Zenith Radio Corporation in 1950. The remote called Lazy Bones was connected to the television by a wire. Later, in 1955, a wireless remote control which worked by shining light on a photoelectric cell was made. Six mechanical remote control which used ultrasonic frequency for detection was made. In 1980, U-Star produced an infrared remote control which was an immediate success. Although now remote control have started expanding into the area of Bluetooth, infrared are still the most widely used and hence we are going to be focusing on that in this video. See how a remote talks with the device. At first, when we press a button, it completes a circuit in the remote, which produces a unique signal corresponding to the button pressed. This signal works as a command for the device which is being controlled by that remote. To ensure that a command from a remote reaches only to the desired device, signal generated by remote has an address encrypted to it. And at last, a stop command is initialized when we release the button pressed which terminates the communication. Corresponding to each button on a remote, we have a unique code embedded to it. That may be in various forms. One example of remote control codes is the Sony Control Edge protocol which is used for Sony TV and includes the following 7-bit binary commands. Let's take an example. Suppose we have to increase the volume. The image shows us how a series of pulses generated from the remote looks like. After a start command, a 7-bit command specific to the task, in this case volume up, is sent. After that, a 4-bit device address is sent and the communication terminates with the stop command. The duration of pulse determines the binary code of corresponding button. A series of pulses of infrared signals are sent by LED on the remote. Here a pulse means the LED turning on. This light coming from the LED, although invisible to us, is detected by the receiver. A zero in the signal corresponds to a short duration gap between two consecutive pulses, while one corresponds to a large duration gap. 